Hello, my name is Gianluca Cirone, and in the following video I'm going to describe to you my daily life as a veterinary student at Trachea University. At the moment I'm in second year and I have many subjects. My day-to-day -day life includes going to lectures and to practical lessons. With the pandemic at the moment we are in what they call a hybrid learning phase in basically we have lectures online where we typically have a large group all the groups come together for the lecture and practicals are in smaller more intimate groups and those still continue in present the year is split up into groups all the students are split into groups and there are roughly 10 to 12 people per group it is a large mix of uh, international students and you will typically go to practical lessons with your assigned group. The smaller groups are broken up for practical lessons but lectures you will join together in a large lecture hall and it will have the majority of the students in your year doing English course. Online lectures take place on the Google Meet platform where the lecturers will present their presentations in the form of lecture slides to the majority of the students. They can be optional or compulsory, unlike practical lessons which are largely compulsory. At present there's no set um, format for the day. For example, some of my days can start as early as 8am and can go as late as 6pm. Other days there is a lot of free time and open space for self-study and any other things you would need to do. I do recommend studying in those free times as, you, as possible. I would say there's about five, maybe five lectures or practicals throughout the day, typically spanning two hours. Some days you might not have many lectures and have a lot of free time that you can use to study, go to town and run errands. For example, in my free time, if I'm not studying, I like to commit that to gym or any other sports activities that are available. That and also shopping for groceries and any other errands that are necessary. So unlike the medical faculty, the veterinary faculty is located just outside of town and it is about a 10 to 15 minute travel depending whether you take bus or taxi. Students can take the bus to and from town and the university for grocery shopping or the gym there are some very nice gyms in town and a variety of different supermarkets to shop from. This is relatively easy and the transport is very reliable, I would say. Bus times and bus schedules can vary on which day of the week it is. Weekends, it will maybe be, you can get maybe three buses into town from the university. Whereas on a weekday, you can get regular buses every 30 minutes. The travel to town or from town to university is roughly a 15 minute travel and it will cost you one lev per ride. So every time you get onto the bus and follow that bus line to any given destination on its route, that will be one lev. That or you can get a bus card, a student bus card. That you would pay 10 lev and you can have basically a whole month's worth of bus rides as you need. There are no lectures on the weekends or any other university activities at present, but in later years you may have some practicals and some exercises to do on weekends, but largely your weekends are your own free time, which you can do with as you would like. There are a few activities, there are some very nice, you can go walking, we have beautiful parks in Stade Zagora. There are even mountains nearby that you can hike as you'd like. We have a, a mall with a cinema that sometimes shows uh, films in English. And you can definitely, there's a few good spots to enjoy a cup of coffee or a nice breakfast or anything like that you'd like to do. I particularly enjoy studying in a coffee shop on the weekends, early on the mornings of the weekend, overlooking the park can be very nice. That and if you enjoy, there are a few nightclubs and bars that you can visit. For classes and lectures, you can dress comfortably in appropriate clothing. 
For certain classes, you will be required to either wear scrubs or a lab coat when working in the lab. You won't need many things, like textbooks will be assigned. Um, you will be told which textbooks to purchase in an inside the university, in a store inside the university. That and stationery, if you have basic stationery, you can get by just fine. So that is up to individual students, what they would need and what gives them the best, best ability to learn and perform. The more prepared you are for any lectures and practicals, it can only benefit you if you pre-read and familiarize yourself with the work before going into practicals. I would especially say this is true for subjects like anatomy, where you're going into the dissection and you're watching the work done on um, actual cadavers, in this case. It definitely helps to know your way around the, the, the specific parts so if you can, definitely try and pre-study. If not, you can, I'm sure you can have no problem following with the lecturer's help, asking questions in class. You will definitely be okay. In the lecture and practicals, uh, some people enjoy taking notes. However, most of the work is provided to you in PowerPoint presentations and any other documents. You are provided all the study material you really need. So if you are like me, I prefer to engage as much as I can with the lecturer and in the, um, in the room with the lesson. Rather than taking notes in lesson, I would rather summarize and take notes based off the PowerPoint presentations and the lecture notes. This semester I have Bulgarian language. We have physical education, which is very unique to this university. Um, we have anatomy immunology, biochemistry, biostatistics, and veterinary hygiene, animal nutrition. We have a few things, quite a few. I would say anatomy definitely requires special attention in this case, and biochemistry, definitely need to study, but I would say anatomy, try and study consistently throughout your free time, throughout the, um, the course of the semester. You will have it from first year, study, study and revise constantly because that is a subject, there's no, there's no ways you can easily cram that stuff, subject. Most interesting is also, I would say, anatomy and physiology, immunology as well. I think there's a lot of very, very interesting subjects. Bulgarian language, I personally have found it a little bit difficult. The sounds and the words definitely are challenging for me but if you study it and you keep practicing it you can definitely pick it up I'd say easily enough you will it will definitely come in handy in your day-to-day -day life the more Bulgarian you know is absolutely helpful mastering Bulgarian I think is has a lot to do with repetition and if possible have Bulgarian friends or talk to each other in Bulgarian small things that and whenever you're going to shops or places in town try your best to speak in Bulgarian when you order a coffee try and order in Bulgarian every little bit counts and will help you become more fluent the grading system here in Bulgaria is on a scale of two to six with two being a fail six being an excellent score and three being the pass mark that and you your whole student record is recorded by the lecturers. They keep it, the, the record. But you yourself must have a little book which you will receive coming to this university. That is your student book. All your grades will be recorded in a student book. The student book will be kept by you. You go to each individual lecturer and they will write your mark into the student book. It is your whole student history and you will basically need this. You will keep your student book for the whole duration of your study in veterinary medicine in this university. You receive your grades from your lecturers, either they will tell you your grade in person or you will go to them at the appropriate time where your grade, your final grade will be written in your student book.
Time management is definitely important when doing veterinary medicine. You need to use your time as efficiently as possible. And whenever you have free time, try and focus on the subjects that if you know that it's more challenging, focus on those subjects, revise, and maintain a good healthy lifestyle. Definitely helps. If you overstudy, if you push yourself too hard, you can burn out. Definitely have a good balance between studying, socializing, and maybe just exercise and healthy living. The practical components at this university is very hands-on, which I like. We have animals on site. We have a small farm and a small animal clinic on site at the university. We get all our cadavers and and animals from, from this farm. In the first two years, it's been mostly dissection and working with cadavers. It'll be from third year onwards where you start doing more clinical practices with live animals. Later on in your later years, you will probably have to, you'll have shifts in the small animal clinic. And there's another reason to know as much Bulgarian as possible because you can have owners that only speak Bulgarian. And obviously the more you know, the more involved you can be with every case. And that's, that's why we're here. We want to, you know, get involved and learn as much as we can in the practical sense. So all lessons here in the English program are of course in English. We have many students here that are studying and thriving with English not being their first language. The lecturers also, English is seldom their first language. The more English you know, the better, because at the end of the day, you are studying this degree in English and all the technical terminology is in English. But it, you can also learn as you go. The lecturers are taking it at a slower pace, given that it is not their first language. But you should be okay. If you have a working knowledge of the English language, you shouldn't have a great problem. And if you pass the English exam, it will show that your English is up to par to succeed at the university. Lecturers and student relationship is that like any other people. Some are very welcoming and friendly and eager to help. Others, they're busy and they don't have a lot of time to deal with your problems. It's good to have yourself organized before approaching a lecturer have everything that you need and make their life easier by knowing exactly how to help them help you. On campus there is a copy shop and a small stationery shop that will sell stationery, can do photocopies. That is also where you can purchase your textbooks. So it is very handy to have that right here on campus. There is a small coffee shop, a cafeteria in the university as well as just adjacent to the university, there is a larger cafeteria with very nice homemade food at a very good price. It's been a benefit to me to live in the dormitories right adjacent to campus. I can make the most use out of my free time because I can go right back to my room, get food, get books, whatever I need for my next classes. But there are many students who are happy to take the bus, the frequent buses back into town to their apartments to do whatever they need to do. If you don't want to take this option, there are many classrooms available that you can go into, have some quiet study. And there is the cafeteria on campus, the coffee shop. You can go get food, you can study, have a coffee, and even play a game of pool with your friends. There's a lot of options to make the most out of your free time. I hope this video has given you some insights on how life is here at the Truckia University in the Veterinary Medical Faculty. So anyone interested in coming to study in Bulgaria, it's a good option if veterinary is really for you. And should you make this decision, I personally would definitely recommend going through Interhex. It really helps having someone on your side, knowing how things work, mm -hmm. putting mind at rest, dealing with paperwork because it can definitely be a large challenge taking on all of this on your own. The assistance with preparing the documents, the contact with the university is a great help because of course the language barrier
can be troublesome. So having Interhex assist with this, assisting with um, accommodation, providing information on student life and all these little things, it definitely takes a lot off your, off your mind.